Interstellar Ketchup Comfort Confrontation by Colin Adams and Brett Kapelik. Also known as Ketchup Attack. Interstellar Ketchup Confrontation. Ketchup Attack. Yeah. The good guy are a hero, a bottle of ketchup. The bad guys, Killer Fry and Psycho Burger. I've got a feeling this might be a burger time clone. It could be, but who knows? Ah! Splat, splat, splat. Now I know what this is. Any Action 52 shooter clone. It said for a second there, level completed. Before I died. Excitement overload. Are you guys as excited as I am of this game? I mean superior graphics, great controls. Love the ambiance. Sound effects are fantastic. And the music! Woo! Music man! Woohoo! I mean seriously, have you ever heard a better soundtrack anywhere? Level completed. Give me more burgers. Give me more burgers to shoot. <laughs> I would say that this is the best game of the year. In every ga in every category. Ooh, now they're moving faster! I can tell. I mean, I could play this game for hours, but then again, it's a really difficult game. I'm in the zone, man. I'm in the zone. Game is a bitch and I'm its daddy. Now this is fast. Now there's a challenge. And I have accepted your challenge. And I will beat you to a ketchupy pop. Although gooey burger, well a smoothie burger and fries doesn't sound very appealing.
dying. No, oh, it's too difficult. Ah, so difficult. Oh no, I'm dead. No, I didn't want to slide over. What a great game. Kango Bongo is a trademark of Sega Enterprises Incorporated. So, enter one joystick. Yeah, it's Kango Bongo, all right. I think I've tried this on my own, because I have played Kongo Bungo on the uh, Sega SC3000. So I've decided to once have tried this out. The Commodore 64 version. But I don't think I have ever played this on the uh, on a live stream before. It's got the same music at least. As the uh, Sega... the. Um, Sega version. <laughs> yep. Gotta wait for you to throw one. I think it's two at most that he that there's on the screen those coconuts. Although they look like prunes. Oh, great. Right. Oh shit. Just one touch on the hand and I'm dead. God damn you. Freaking Donkey Kong wannabe. That damn gorilla. Yep. Yep, cannot get them from up from there because he just bounces back. Keep throwing them! Just lazying about there, just sitting at the fire like a lazy ass. Uh, come on, get, just get to the choices again. Come on, move. Am I gonna back, in, back into the game? God damn it. Sega version, those um, little monkeys are assholes because they cling on to you, slow you down, and you cannot jump very high. Throw more prunes, please? Okay. P. 
pixel perfection. Don't you just love it in games? Ugh. Kango Bongo. Sega, 1983. Nice ass there, man. And what are you stealing from the gorilla? Oh, you're tickling its leg. That's a that's a feather. Tickling at it, its toes. It's totally different looking. This load. Just one player, please. Yeah, one player joystick. Thank you. Isometric controls. In the other game, it may it felt uh, when you're moving around, it felt more free because you could move anywhere you wanted. In this, it's like you are moving in a grid. So, you don't have all that freedom of movement. Still got the same music though. Loading next screen. And also, that doesn't look like a gorilla to me. That looks like... The abominable snowman's uh, or the Bigfoot's uh, retarded cousin. The second level is totally different compared to the other. A lot easier too. But that was pretty much the same as it was on the Sega. SC3000 system. So here I have to be careful of uh, brown hogs and uh, rhinos. That certainly, certainly was easy. Yeah, retarded teddy bear. Yeah, that's what he is. Or maybe he's like a teddy bear with a skull mask on. Seems like the level order in these games are different. Death music is still the same. <clears throat> I tried to jump, but he just fell into the water. Pixel perfection, yet again, yeah. Everybody loves pixel perfect jumps. Everybody loves pixel perfect jumps. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Also, I kind of look like Wario. Wario! Wario! I guess Wario's just after Donkey Kong. Oh, I missed. Why do I keep trying to jump on that one? Just jump on the freaking hippo, you hippo. For that then totally different type of games aren't they compared to each other totally different this one's a lot easier than the other one but then again 
I died on the same spot pretty much as I kept dying on the other game, so... The other game just uh, mixes a couple of levels together, while this is a more accurate to the real arcade version, I guess?